Controversy on social media by suggesting in a tweet that November's election should be delayed. Let's get more on our top story now with Alex in the queue. Folks, he did it on Twitter, his favourite platform, and he pinned it to the top of the profile. Now, just in April, the president had said no possibility of a delay. Then look at this. The US president again repeating unsubstantiated claims that mail-in ballots for this election would lead, in his words, to the most fraudulent election in US history, saying it would be an embarrassment to the USA. And then look at this at the bottom. Delay the election, the president asks, until everybody can vote properly, securely and safely with three question marks. That is the first time we've heard that idea floated by the president. And it immediately drew condemnation from both sides of the political spectrum in America. Needless to say, leading Democrats like Bernie Sanders saying no way will the American people take this, saying the election will be decision day. But also Republicans, let's bring you up, Republicans like Adam Kinzinger here saying, reminder, the election dates are set by Congress and that he, as a Republican, will resist any attempt by the US president to change that. So first of all, worth saying, the president's claims about mail-in voting, once again repeating these, are unsubstantiated. No evidence provided in that tweet. But secondly, look at this. A lot of congressmen on both sides saying, we are the ones who would decide a change in date. Congress, the lower house in the US, is controlled by the Democrats. And also, the 20th Amendment of the US Constitution became a top trend. Here it is online, because you can read uh, in writing, quite simply, down there in the US Constitution, that on the 20th day in January, obviously a few months after the election itself, there will be the changeover. The changeover in presidents on the 20th day in January. That's in the US Constitution. Congress would have to change the date. We know they're not going to do that. So why did the president tweet these claims, these unsubstantiated claims, once again about mail-in ballots and then this claim about floating the idea of changing the date? Well, a number of suggestions going around. Let me bring you a couple of them. Heather Long, she is a journalist, saying, well, this comes on the same day as the US has terrible results, the worst quarterly drop in history. A lot of people saying, could this be a distraction tactic, but then you've got other journalists saying, well, yes, the president can't delay the election, but maybe what he's doing here is looking at the polls and attempting to preempt a possible loss. That's another suggestion going around. But crucially, Tokes, the US president tweeting claims that are unsubstantiated, repeating them once again. We are yet to see what Twitter is going to do. Well, as Alex said, we can now speak to our reporter in... United States. That's Colin Campbell who joins me now. Uh, Colin, we're less than four months away, or rather, from the election. Why has President Trump decided to float this idea now? We're less than 100 days away from the U.S. presidential election. The president is looking at the polls. This is a president who's very in tune to the polls weekly, if not daily. And it shows that he is losing to the Democratic nominee for president, former Vice President Joe Biden in many several states, and that the, co the contest would be very close, even in key states that the president had won when he ran against Hillary Clinton. So what some pundits are saying now is that we're seeing a very desperate president. We're seeing a president who, has, uh, who had sent uh, federal authorities to Portland, Oregon, to fight against protesters. We've seen a president who's tried to use uh, dog whistle politics to increase racial division. And now we're seeing a president who's saying that there should be, or at least he's suggesting, there sh that there should be a delay in the presidential election because of potential voter fraud, even though studies have shown that mail-in voting does not yield the type of voter fraud that he's talked about, but rather that the types of discrepancies are almost infinitesimal. So, therefore, the president is throwing out what he can to try to distract from some of the realities that we're facing. That is, the U.S. Uh, still facing a very serious problem. Uh, with the coronavirus pandemic, a country that is facing one of the greatest shrinkages of its economy since the Great Recession more than a decade ago. And these are issues that all point back to President Trump. And so, therefore, pundits are saying, right now, we're seeing a president that is just basically flailing and doing every, everything he can to distract from what some people are calling, frankly, ineptitude. Colin, at the same time, this isn't the first time that President Trump has targeted uh, male, v or male voting. So how much uh, is that expected? Or, you know, what bigger part does that play in the contest or is expected to play? Well, that remains to be seen right now because we're looking at an issue where because of the pandemic, a lot of people are thinking that they won't be going to the polls in mass numbers. Remember, the U.S. also has issues when it comes to 
in-person voting, when it comes to long lines outside of polling centers, people standing for hours, of course, in large crowds, which would violate the suggestions from health directors and policy officials and doctors who are saying that we should really be practicing distancing at least six feet away. So therefore, this issue of mail-in voting could be huge. And one point to note, if you look at the president's tweet, he talks about absentee voting versus mail-in voting. Before it was all mail-in voting, but we see this president is making an important distinction because he himself has participated in mail-in voting or absentee voting through the mail, and suggesting that if the president does it himself, why wouldn't it be good for the average American citizen? So, of course, this issue is going to be batted around back and forth in upcoming days when people equivocate, equivocate between absentee voting and mail-in voting. Colin Campbell there helping us cut through what is a complicated issue there over the U.S. presidential elections. Thank you.